Praise the Lord, everyone, and uh, welcome to the God Solar Seven and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy I received earlier this morning. Um, so join me in the King James Version Bible. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be in the Book of Isaiah, um, chapter 26. Let's do verse 20, and maybe 21. Come, my people, enter thou into th thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, there is the Holy Spirit, for their inequity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. That sounds like a bad day. Okay, now I was hearing this for two days. Um, I got the whole thing earlier this morning. Um, today is July 23rd, uh, 2021. Now, I might have to um, stop for a second. Um, my mom might call um, and stop the phone, just so you know that. Okay, so I got this earlier this morning. And again, another hair razor. Here we go. Go inside. Shut the door. Hide until the indignation has passed. I have scorched your land and stopped the rain. A nation and people more arrogant and evil than Sodom and Gomorrah. Famine and pestilence will sweep your cities. I will darken your sun. You will die. Your crops will be destroyed and dust will cover them. You will be destroyed and dust will cover you. I see no repentance. You continue to abuse my children and my babies. Now you have contaminated the waters and the fishes are dying. You have polluted the air, and the birds are dying. You show no remorse whatsoever. Arrogant and boastful leaders will be brought down. My wrath is kindled against them who shed innocent blood. Fire and brimstone will rain from the heavens. You parade your abominations before me. You worship idols and other gods. Your pride blinds you from my truth. Oh, boy. Go inside. Shut the door. Hide until the indignation has passed. Go inside. Shut the door. Hide until the indignation has passed. Whoa. How about that? I kept hearing go inside and shut the door. I heard that for two days straight almost. Now, I think that phrase is, is um, directed to the, the actually repentant that are here not the unrepented. The rest of it, I'm pretty sure, is for those that did not repent and turn from their sins. He is a just God. Um, he, he is going to um, judge and, and you're going to get what you have sown. You're going to reap what you have sown. This is it. This is how he works. No one is getting away with anything. If you think it doesn't apply to you, you need to listen again. Are you the unrepentant? You don't want to be in that category of people. You see what's going to hap happen. When I heard the, the crops were going to be, the ground was scorched and the crops and everything was going to die. And this ties directly into a dream I had two days ago that I didn't have a chance to put up yet. Um, it goes with it. So I'm going to tell you what the dream is. So the Lord brought me in front of, I'm going to say, a greenhouse. And he showed me inside. And it looked lovely in there. I can see all sorts of what I call baby greens. I just saw a fly go by. I can see all sorts of baby uh, greens in there. Um, it looked like they were, they were all ready and, uh, to be picked. They looked lovely, beautiful. Then I got the understanding that they're not going to be picked. They're going to die. There is no water to water them. They're ruined. No water. The crops will be destroyed. No water. Are we understanding this? You see what's happening out there if you put the, um, uh, the news on. I don't even have TV and I get stuff in the Facebook. I'm seeing everything burning and scorching and no water. We're definitely in trouble here. The country is in trouble. The United States is in trouble. We have not repented as a people. We have turned from God um, and we kicked him out of everything. Out of our government, out of the schools, out of everything, out of everything. We kicked him out of everything. How can we be blessed? We're not. We used to be one nation under God. I even have a prophecy out there that says, no, you're not under God anymore.
Do you understand what's happening here? We're going to see major famine again. More pestilence. He says it in there. We're seeing it starting. Every time I go online to try to get um, orders, my Walmart or whatever I'm ordering for the week, I see more and more and more stuff out of stock. I can't get it. This is why I say in every video, make sure you have some supplies on hand. You see what he's saying in the prophecy. Let's look at it again. My hair stood straight up when he said this. I will darken your sun, you will die. How about that? Straight up. Your crops will be destroyed and dust will cover them. My hair stood up with that. You will be destroyed and dust will cover you. Do you know how angry he's got to be to say these things in a prophecy? I mean, the whole book, if you read the Bible, which you should be or have done already by now, the whole book talks about what's coming, what's going to happen. Read the book, find out where we're at. We're at the end. This is it. We're at the end. He's telling you straight up what's going to happen. You see it all over. I just had somebody on the, um, the Facebook, I haven't been on here for a few hours, I was running around with stuff, um, saying that um, it was so hot where he lived that um, the yard caught on fire. Can you imagine that? I can't. I'm sitting here looking at a river that's ready to flood and it's filthy, dirty, and brown. We're at the end. Are you understanding? Did you wake up? He's saying that people are not waking up. They don't get it. They're not seeing the truth. They're being blinded. Don't let that be you. You need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You need to read his book and know what's going and where we're going. There's a thousand warnings out here, not only by me, but other messengers that have the same message over and over. We're at the end. This is it. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, you can read about that in Book of Acts, Acts 2.38. You need to have your house in order. Um, let your family know what's going on. Have some supplies on hand, some extra cash on hand. Do what you need to do. I said it on probably the last 10 videos. Today could be your last day. Um, right now could be your last breath. Tonight could be the last time you go to sleep. Do you understand? You might not wake up tomorrow. How many people, um, I have the thing that I put up or reposted. Um, people that died um, today um, had plans for tomorrow. People that are going to die tomorrow have plans for the next day. Make sure your plan includes Jesus Christ. It has to include him. Please get a Bible. Read it front to back. If you don't understand, join a Bible study. Make sure you're on the, what, the, narrow, the narrow path, the narrow road. Because the wide path leads to destruction. You need to know what's going on here. He gave us a thousand warnings. What else is in here that was hair-raising to me? And while we have this in several, fire and brimstone will rain from the heavens. I probably have several on that. And let's see, you're more arrogant than Sodom and Gomorrah. I have how many on that? It's the same thing over and over. He's telling us the same thing. And this one. Um, my wrath is kindled against them who shed innocent blood. And what I got with that was the abortion continuing. Uh, people abusing their children. Um, that was his children. I was get and then I got the abortion. It's not going to continue. Um, what else? Am I and then the three times he says it. Go inside, shut the door, hide until the indignation has passed. Now that reminds me of Passover. Go in the house, put the blood on it, uh, around the um, doors, um, the top and the sides, put the and the um, destroyer will pass over. It kind of sounds like he's telling us to do that again. All right, I'm going on. Okay, you know you need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. And what else did I want to mention? Uh, Brother Dan and I, we have the gift of prophecy. It's a spiritual gift. Um, you can read about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And what other thing is there? Um, again, please, please, please share the videos. Um, again, Facebook has me on restricted. I've been on that for months on end. Um, they're not showing my videos anywhere, and I could tell because the, um, the view count is down. Please share them amongst your, your um, Facebook pages and your friends. Um, let them know where we're at. They should have a plan already if they don't already. The plan needs to include Jesus Christ and be born again. Please do that. All right, I'm going off. All right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, just thanking everyone again, um, everyone that supports the ministry financially. Um, thank you, everyone, for the um, translations in all the other languages. Um, thank you, everyone, that sends us things in the mail, um, books, cards, um, notes, all sorts of things we get. Um, Jewelry, presents, clothes. Thank you so much. What else did I want to mention? Just like and follow us. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, remember to subscribe and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. That's another thing I keep seeing on there. 
hit the notification button so that you know if we have something. And if you don't see us in a few days, um, just come back and see what's going on. All right, better get going here. So God bless you all. Thank you for everything you do for us. We love you guys. All right, now if I could get this um, bloggy off here without flying upside down. Come on, you can do it. Oh my foot is killing me. This weather is terrible.